So let's talk about the EQ section. The EQ section, of course, is to adjust the tone control or um, frequency adjustments of what you're using. So if you're using a microphone, the EQ section will help to form the tone, the tonal quality of the microphone, the person singing or speaking into the mic. So you have your highs, you got your mid frequency section, and then of course you got your lows, right? So um, the highs will, will deal with the semblance of the voice, of course. The mid section will deal with the middle part um, of the voice, and then the low frequency will deal with the bass part of the voice. In its most simplest form, that's the, the, the gist of the, the EQ section. And of course you can go more and more depth into it as you start to manipulate instruments or you start to deal with um, in the live sound application feedback issues and things of that nature the EQ becomes a, a whole separate um, function and it's in the way you use the tool but um, this is the EQ section and right below that you have an auxiliary section which is labeled aux1 here on this mixer and that auxiliary section can be used to route channels to an auxiliary output so that auxiliary output could be a stage monitor um, it could be a headphone mix, it could be a recording mix, uh, whatever you designate that auxiliary to be, but that would be your auxiliary section. So how much of that particular channel you would send to that auxiliary output. Then below that you have an effects <coughs> channel that's, that's listed here. And this particular board has some internal, internal effects processing that can be done with it. So that would be the effects send for this particular channel. And then of course it's repeated over and over again depending on which channel you're using. Below that you have a pan section. And, and that pans from left to center to right. And um, that can be used for a number of different functions as well. But basically in the stereo field you will use this panning section to route channels either to the left side, to the right, or to keep them in the middle. Below that you have a PFL section, which, is, which stands for pre-fader listen. So if you were using headphones, uh, you would select that channel in order to isolate that channel into your headphones. You have a mute button. So of course when that mute button is pushed down, this channel is inactive. And when it is up, it is flowing through. And then you have your fader section um, down here. And this is of course how much of that particular channel volume wise or output wise you want to send to your final destination, whether that is speakers, uh, recorder, whatever it may be. So thanks again for joining us on ASW Tech Talk. I hope you enjoyed today's session. We'll be having many, many more of these sessions that you'll be able to learn from. If you would like to schedule your own training session, please contact us here at Atlanta Soundworks. Also, check out our Facebook page. There's a lot of information there for you to glean from as well. And um, join us again next time on ASW Tech Talk.